Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna show how to make the insane warp transition in After Effects. Before we get into the video, I just wanna make a little announcement that I'm uploading daily in YouTube. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my upload. So that being said, let's just jump into the video. Yo guys, we're back in After Effects now. I'm gonna show how to do the effect in here. I have this two clip in my timeline, which I'm gonna transition on. To start it off, I will make a new adjustment layer and add a motion tile effect onto the adjustment layer. Then I made artwork do it and I Add to like 1000 then i hit mirror edges and go up to the effects and preset and add transfer if and hit the stop was on position scale and root then go a bit further and scale out of your clip then offset the position to a newer mirror i don't know if i'm making any sense right here then don't forget to reset the scale at the end and generally make an animation like this and then go up to the middle where this clip splits and, and zoom out a bit by decreasing the scale and throughout the animation make a one cycle rotation then your effect should look like this then select all of your keyframe and hit f9 to easy ease those then select your position keyframe and go up to the graph and make sure you are in speed graph and copy this graph right here and i made the graph as you can see we get the black edges so to remove that go to your motion tile and bring up the mo output height then go up to the scale graph and make this graph right here then in rotation to make this graph right here then I expanded the keyframe of the rotation. Then don't forget to hit the motion blur icon. If you don't see that, hit the toggle switch as a mode and you should see that. And already you have this insane transition. Then select your all clip and pre-compose. Then add optic composition. And when the animation starts, hit the stopwatch in the FOB. Go up to the last where the animation ends. And make a new keyframe. And go up to the middle and just bring up the value of FOB. Make sure you hit reverse lens distortion. Now you can leave it like that. But I'm gonna add more sauce by adding sapphire distort chroma. Then I lower down the blur lens. And animated the amount. Then I added displacer pro and did the same to this. Select all of your keyframe. And and hit F9 to easy ease those. Then select your sapphire distort and go up to the graph and make this graph right here. Then your transition should look like this. That's it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. See ya later. Bye.